going live, what is going that? live, going live, we're live. Hey everybody. What's up y'all? Sorry it's been a while. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot how to act in front of a camera. It's been forever. <laughs> it's just been really, really busy. Sorry we haven't done a lot of live videos. And um, we were hoping to have a few edited videos for you. But um, Christmas happened. Christmas. We moved house and business. It was crazy. So we were just like, you know, something's got to go. So what were we thinking? I don't think we were thinking. It was his idea. Yeah, because we moved the business. If you haven't seen any of those videos, if you're just watching our channel for the first time, my name is Joe. I'm Jessica. And uh, we are the family flips. We flip stuff. <laughs> and uh, we moved the business. Uh, <laughs> yes. We moved our business November the 1st. Uh, and then we moved houses on November the 17th. So like 17 days later, we moved houses too. I have no idea why we would do such a thing. It was fun. I mean, really, it was stretching. It was, um, it was fun though. It was an adventure. So now we're back. We're trying to get back into the swing of things. Happy New Year, Amanda. Happy New Year. What's up, Amanda Rojas? I miss you, phone farming queen. <laughs> <laughs> As y'all are coming on, let us know that you are on. We like interaction. We do. Um, so yeah, we're, we're hoping to... Good morning, Randy Barnes. What's up, Randy? Dude, I've been getting some 3D printers. And uh, I know you like to print with the 3D machines and uh we've been getting some of those and they've been selling like hotcakes hello there amon gerba <laughs> don't think that's right okay <laughs> we apologize <laughs> anyway so we are gonna try to get into this palette i know a lot of you guys are super super excited hey lauren hey girl um but uh so we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get into this we're, yeah the whole plan of this right now is that we're gonna go through this palette we're gonna show you what we have and some of the bigger items, one. this one right here, this baby, we're going to some of the bigger items. We're going to try to price to show you, um, you know, basically how much it's selling for. Um, we hope to make a little more, uh, at more than double our money for yeah. each. We pallet. bought the truckload. We bought 24 pallets for I think 8,500 bucks. Uh, we have another truckload that we are working on getting, um, in three weeks, probably. Uh, but we're doing all small box return pallets for those. We like those better than these big ones. Mm -hmm. uh, the big ones are good, uh, but we'll, we got another video coming soon about kind of some lessons we learned uh, from pallet flipping. And yes, to answer your question, these are all Amazon returns, uh, shelf pulls. Let me get this up a little bit. All Amazon uh, pallets, shelf pulls, returns, some are overstock. Um, the small box palette, which we don't have any more of those, we'll show you when we do get them in. This is a medium box return. This is a seven to nine foot palette. Um, that, uh, it is, uh, uh, they weigh, I don't know, five to 700 pounds. We were buying these individually, um, for probably, um, they're 500 bucks is what we were paying for them individually. And then shipping was costing about 250 bucks uh, for the pallet because it's shipped by weight and distance. Where we are buying from is American Pallet Liquidators. They are uh, based out of uh, Louisville, Kentucky. So they're about 10 hours from where we are in Arkansas. And uh, so we were buying two pallets at a time for 1500 bucks. And we we're like, let's buy a whole truckload for 8,500 bucks, 24 pallets. So that's what we did. Uh, but you know, as I was saying, we like the small box pallets. Those have like six to 900 items per pallet. Uh, we can do bin sales, which, uh, we did one a while back. We opened up to the public and people came in, they bought all kinds of stuff. So it was, it was pretty cool and exciting. So before we start going through all of these items here, uh, just keep an eye out. We are not going to be doing any edited videos for a little while, but we will do some live. We want to talk a little bit about what we've learned from this last pallet. Uh, we want to talk about you know, um, things that we would have done differently. And then with this next truckload that's coming in, we plan on doing, being a lot more intentional about um, walking you guys through our process. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling some of these boxes. Yes. Are you ready? And that's our camera. That's one of our uh, photo taking stations right there, there in the back. It's uh, got some LED lights and uh, we plan on doing that video. And if you haven't thumb, thumbed up us yet, 
Give us a nice thumbs up. It helps us with the uh, the uh, YouTube algorithms. What's up, Jessica Sowards? If y'all are into homesteading, uh, check out Roots and Refuge Farm. She's our good friend. They live like 10 minutes from here. So uh, they're great peeps. Are you going to open that one? If you want me to. I don't know. I don't know what this is. But this is the first one. I'm going to let Jessica do the honors here. <gasps> oh, that's so yeah, nice. Box cutter. Don't cut your finger off. I appreciate, I appreciate the uh, morning. Wasn't planning on it, though. I'll talk about this one. This is one of those items that uh, we're going to do in a bin cell. Uh, so the way that we work our bin cells is that we... We have flat prices for all of those. Yeah, um, the sheet set, I think. Usually it's things that we always have to evaluate. You know, how much does it cost labor-wise to ship an item? Wow, this is cool. Um, how much does it cost, you know? Uh, you might know what this is. To list it. I can sit in it and go back and forth. It's a transfer board. Anybody know what that is? Because I don't. Bessie transfer oh, board? It transfer. it transfers people from board, I guess, stretchers to beds. Ah. So that's pretty neat, or maybe even beds to uh, wheelchairs. So we're finding we get a lot of uh, medical products like this. You're right. And um, they're usually sell pretty good. Um, oh, nice! Right off the bat, it's so like this one. You know, first kind we will look for is like this one looks like it might have been used. So kind of when we we go through items. And some of you may not be interested in this part, but I try to make some of it educational and not just adults watching other adults open up stuff because it's cool. Because <laughs> it is. And we get that dopamine Our hit. kids do it. Yeah. It's I like we always make fun of our kids for watching videos of... Uh, you're about to cut I'm me. really sorry. Anyways, this Bessie board, let's get down to it. Uh, brand new uh, is selling for 200 bucks. So, used condition, which it looks like it's got one little bitty scuff on it. <laughs> uh, what's up, John Jara? <laughs> the grown-up version. Uh, it, it is, is. the grown-up <laughs> version. We make fun of kids for watching those little unboxing of Play-Doh and unbox this. <laughs> and, and we're doing we're it, We're like, too. why are you doing that? I'll move this. But then we watch adults opening up Amazon return pallets. We also Crazy. have shelving set up on either side, um, and that's how we set up our queues. Um, we always want the higher price items to sell first because new items sell faster. This is an empty, is this an empty box? No, there's like some wire thing in there. See something like this? It's like, uh, it looks like it's a holder. You see how holder. big this box is? <laughs> and you see the size of that? And I bet Amazon paid like $4 to ship this. Whereas like, this that's just... This is snapped, like somebody cut it. Is it supposed yeah. to be like that? Oh. Uh, I don't know what it is. I need my gardening homesteader person out there. <laughs> this is for a garden, I think, but it's broken. This is going in the dumpster. <laughs> With this giant box. <laughs> <laughs> and the great thing about all this is, uh, you know, we don't have to buy boxes. We get our free boxes from uh, the postal service, but then we get all these boxes. So we've got like a whole, oh, okay. This is uh, looks like a uh, for a car. Oh, it's like a seat set. covers. Uh, those are usually this one doesn't look to be too uh, expensive. Usually, like the leather ones sell for pretty good. This one here is probably only going to sell for like thirty bucks. And then the sucky thing is, is well, the great thing is uh, a lot of these Amazon pallets. They uh, the boxes they have these little labels that they use uh, so that we can know what it is. So we can at least figure out what this is. Use condition that may be 20 bucks. Um, it may be something, I don't even know if we're gonna wanna do anything with it uh, online, so it'll probably be local. Ooh, what's that? Um, it's a gas tankless water heater. Ooh, so. I bet that's worth some money. You know, I talk, we talked a little bit about like whether it's worth to sell online or to sell locally. One of the things that you have to consider is how much it costs to ship. Um, I don't know if there are any other resellers <laughs> out there, but I would highly suggest you check out Pirate Ship. Um, yes. It is a much cheaper way to ship. Um, we, we use uh, USPS. We use... Um, Pirate Ship uses yeah. USPS, but they get the cubic shipping discounts. Yeah. It saves us yes, lots of money. Said. If you're shipping big, bulky items, like a lot of this is big, bulky. I say big, bulky. You know, anything that's over a, a cubic foot, 12 by 12 by 12, 
is over 20 pounds. Talk to FedEx. Um, I'm in the process of getting our FedEx account set up and, and the, the prices that they're giving us is like 30% discount. Uh, also, if you don't have a UPS business account, get a UPS business account because you can save lots of money uh, on shipping bigger, bulkier items. All right, so, if this works, babe, this is this is it right here. Uh, no, that's not it. Hold on. I can't. I'm. It's. I'm gonna have to do a lot more research on this particular item. But if it works, the average one is. Uh, what is it, Gerard? We just need to find out the brand. What this is? You can see the box here. It's a. Uh, Gas tankless water heater. Those are usually pretty good money. And uh, just gotta find the right brands. You have to find the right brand. I'm not sure. How about you go do another one while I look this up and I'll let y'all know. I've got some wine goblets for all you winos yeah, out there, but there's only three, so that would be a bin sale. She's gonna look up that because that's pretty good money right there. Oh, it's so heavy. And uh got this little uh oh that's pretty that's mine that's hers it's mine that's hers we didn't even get to sell it <laughs> mine i'm not right there need a uh a lid for your new pot and pan but uh it's a <laughs> yeti it's for yeti huh yes this one here um this probably one. so i don't know in sales why we don't make you know we're uh, we've got employees and stuff. A lot of resellers. You know we've we've got a couple employees. We do well, but we could do better if we wanted to work a billion hours a week. Uh, we kind of place limits on how much we work, just because we want to enjoy life and family and friends. So we try to put some caps on how much we work. What brand I mean, is that? This is this is it's a G, uh, the model number is GSWH dash two. I've looked on here. This exact water heater is selling for four eighty three thirty eight. So pays for the whole works, pallet. If it works, if it works, it's paid we'll for check the it out. And then some. So five hundred dollar item. We'll keep you updated. We'll let you know. Pays for the whole pallet. So that's pretty cool. That's why I like doing these uh, medium box pallets, just because uh, one item. Generally speaking, from every medium box pallet that we've got. There's been a few pallets, I'll say, that they have been a pain in the butt because uh, return fraud, um, it's like some type of car, uh, a car cover. It's like it's been taken out of the box. This is not gonna be a fun one, but usually from my scene in these car covers, they're usually a good 60 or 70 bucks. We'd have to take this out, you know, uh, this is not something that, that pallets you can do in the apartment from your house. Uh, that's why, you know, we would we have a warehouse here. We moved into the warehouse just so we can have space for this kind of top. stuff. Ooh, those are he can't get there. the ones up top. So, uh, I can't. This range hood. I'm interested in this. Oh. Careful. Oh. Oh, that's so we got this uh, box right here. I'll try and turn it around. This is a range hood for a, uh, a stove oven type thing. And uh, did you take my box cutter? Hey, we're married. My box cutter is your box cutter. Not at work. That's true. We have rules against stealing each other's box cutters at work. I've lost my box cutter. That's actually my box cutter. How did I lose box cutters? Like, I haven't moved anywhere. Have y'all seen it? Uh, you're breaking stuff. Oh, it's one of those dang hoses. What kind of hose is this? This is crazy. It's like that hose. It's like is, a slinky. I don't even know how useful this would be. That that's a loose hose. <laughs> what? I don't know if you got my little joke. <laughs> <laughs> that hose be loose. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes words come out of my mouth. <laughs> Y'all don't ever have that happen. Yeah, Anyways, this looks to, uh, uh, I need a new filter. Uh, this is somebody out there, are those resellers watching, do y'all sell mouth filters? I need one. Anyways, this is the Econ range hood. I'm going to look at it real quick while Jessica's going to the other stuff. And, uh, cause I'm liking the looks of this and, uh, if I can get the model number. Let me, let me, uh. 
set this down real quick because I gotta move all this other stuff over here. So in the super slim wall mounted uh, kitchen thing, I forgot your computer's not touch screen. Well, don't do that. Uh, and we need white though, but that looks to be it. Oh, this has got a nice LCD display. Is this white? Yeah, oh, that one go. is white. Right there. So, I y'all can't see that. I don't even know why I'm trying. It's 328. Yeah, it's in reverse. 328 bucks. So, so far we've gone through like eight boxes. Five of those boxes have been crap. I say crap. We'll crap. sell it. It's money. I mean, it's a bunch of $5 bills. But then you pull out the box that's got 300 bills. And this sucker, it hadn't been used. It's still got all the, the tape and stuff on it. So, this is a uh, used mattress pad. Looks like. Oh, look, she's sleeping real good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's sleeping like a ballerina. Makes you want to buy one. Um, so this will be used. Um, that's my box cutter still. There's right here. <laughs> I found it. Um, so, yeah. I mean, we'll probably get a little bit of money out of it. Nothing too. We've got several mattress pads. Uh, we got a real nice latex one. It had been used. Um, we haven't sold it yet. But brand new, they're running for 400 bucks. I think we've got it listed for like 200 bucks. And uh, God bless America. Ooh, that's a quilt. And uh, got a pretty quilt, she says. And uh, I don't know, some quilts uh, do very well. Um, so I'll have to do a little research on this. It'll take time because finding, you know, finding model numbers is one thing, but finding patterns is a lot harder. So that usually takes a little while. And so then you have to also think like, is this gonna be worth all the time I'm spending, you know, looking for this item? So sometimes it's just not worth it. You know, if you're gonna be looking for a lot of stuff and you know it's not gonna be more than a few dollars and then, you know, accounting for all that, sometimes you just gotta oh, know when to give up to make your time most efficient. Um, ooh, these are a whole bunch of those uh, hooks <laughs> for retail for pegboard. shelves. Yeah. Stuff on. These are the things that I always knock off. Like they always have product on them, and for some reason, you know, I always find them knock them off. Well, that sucks. Oh, broken. Broken toilet seat, right there. Those usually are. They're twenty-five bucks. We've had some, you know, sixteen bucks that we sell locally, but that one's broken, so it's a trash item. Sad. Here's another box here. Na, 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 the and usually people ask like what kind of stuff you get on these pallets i mean you see the stuff but as far as conditions go usually about 60 to 65 percent of these items are new uh unboxed items uh they haven't been open or mm. they uh what is that lauren are you still on because i've got some little jars for my herbalist friend yes and um about 65 percent is new condition either they've been opened the boxes has been has been unopened or uh the box is damaged uh, about 65 percent then usually about 20 percent of the items have been used they didn't like it which you can generally tell uh with the function of something when when you get it in uh and you unbox it and you're like i can see why they return this this is cheap chinese stuff that's not any good and then about 20%, 15, 20%, or I don't know, I can't do the math, it's too many numbers, 10 to 15%, I think, uh, is damaged items or return fraud. Auto parts is a heavily return fraud item. About half of every automobile part we got in, <laughs> I don't know why, uh, has, uh, they get the new part and they send the old part back. So I don't like automobile parts. They suck. These we're going to have to sell local. There's a couple broken ones in these glass broken jars. Broken jars, but they look cool. Little jars. Oh. They'll sell local. And uh, part of the thing, if you're going to do these pallets, is you have to... The majority of the stuff you can sell online. This is a little skateboard right here. I can get out of the box. Um, it's a very small skateboard. Yeah. That's Sold. Uh, got one skateboard in uh, before Christmas. This has been good before Christmas, but... We got it now. Um, they did sold within 24 hours for like 60 bucks. So 
this one here it's a cool little one it'll sell and that's not too heavy so uh it'll be an easily shipped usps item through pirate ship yoga mats we get quite a few yoga mats they're usually pretty consistent sell of 16 to 25 bucks uh, most of them because of the size and the weight only about eight dollars shipping so we sell a lot of these online as long as it has the box you're looking at this ixlin no but i can that's a 50 dollars skateboard that skateboard is 50 dollars. i don't know why it's uh that interchangeable wheels and a lot of it's customizable i'm assuming what is that i don't think i want to i don't know if i'll open this it's a hoe it's o oh well i'm on the <laughs> reverse angle it's a hoe <laughs> that deserves a thumb up right there if that doesn't get a thumb up i don't know what will <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> what is this? This is uh, a... Uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, ho. Uh, it's a light fixture. Uh, it's going to probably take me some time to look this up, so I probably won't. But we sell a lot of lighting fixtures, a lot of fixtures in general. Got some real nice chandeliers. If they're not broken, they're money. Yeah. Like... Lauren's laughing at you, Joe. Yeah, I'm funny. <laughs> he thinks he's funny. Can I get a thumbs up, please? Please. Please. <laughs> this box is too hard to open. Do I have to open this box? I'm going to pass on it. Um, I'll look at what it is, though. Um, because... Uh, it's probably a shelving unit. I don't really know. Heavy. I'll come over here. I you appreciate it. I was like, what am I going to do? What is... Sometimes I like to stand in her way and make her hold a bunch of heavy stuff and uh, see how long she can hold it. That's not true. He doesn't do that ever. <laughs> Maybe I do. Why'd you turn the camera so far? Uh, what do you mean? They can't see you. This is shales. Oh, this is one of those carts. Do you need one of these? Oh, that's cool. It's a... <laughs> it's a... Shh. I don't even know what it's called. Shh. <laughs> you know, you hold the handles and you go like this. A utility cart. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shh. <laughs> I'm trying. I can't remember the words escaped me. <laughs> This is how we do it. I don't know what this is. It's black. And, I've, uh, I've destroyed this uh, yeah. box and now I can't close it again. Yeah. Uh, I get to... Uh, yeah. yeah. I like carts. Thank you, Amanda Rojas, for the thumbs up. You're amazing. <laughs> You're always so supportive of us. Yes. And thank you for holding down our Facebook group as we have been... <laughs> on vacation from it for a long long time it is a mini sandbox no it's not a mini sandbox it's a uh, utility cart luxar uh three shelf utility cart that's probably gonna be probably a hundred bucks i mean it's a heavy duty one it's like that hard plastic it's got yeah. wheels and it's a hundred dollar like... utility cart uh we that always need carts one, around here so it'll probably get uh used for us um, because uh we need stuff like that especially for when people come shopping i mean shopping. you think about it like you know we could we could sell that yeah. the and then uh buy another one or we could just keep that one yeah you know because if the if the pallet's already paid for we've already we're just buying it out of our profits anyway so as long as it's for the business you gotta be really, really careful to keep your business and your personal life separate, which is really hard when you get really cool things in. You actually have to buy your own oh. stuff. Look at this, a hike. Oh, it's one of those oh. carrier things. These are nice ones. These, yeah. uh, we got one already. This probably won't sell until closer to, uh, you know, spring, summertime. I don't, th I don't think, I think somebody forgot that in there. Oh. I don't know. 
Somebody return Teddy. Somebody return Teddy. Anyways, these are nice. These are probably about 100, 150 bucks. Um, it's a real nice kid hiking backpack. And then another yoga mat. Yeah. We'll go ahead and list That's this. That's nice. Paper. I like we'll that list. one's going to be probably closer to 150. Yeah. What is that, a Dextar? Uh, no, D E U T E R. I can't spell it nor remember anything. Uh, D, D as in dog, E U. D E U. T E R. Yeah. Woo-wee! Oh, it does come with the teddy bear. Oh, it's two fifty. Well, we Is got a red, red one? one. Colors sell differently. I don't know if y'all know that, but I bet it's still two fifty. The blue one sells for two fifty. Well, the gray, two hundred. Yeah. Two hundred bucks. It's on sale though, so normally it's two fifty. It's cranberry color, not red. Cranberries are red. That's pretty nice. See that right there. 200 bucks. So that's exciting. So we got what, three items that will sell for at least a thousand bucks between the three. So that's pretty cool. Oh, it's heavy. Then you get these big boxes that are so light. Oh, look, another skateboard it looks like. Yeah, and Neko. It even says skateboard. So I know what that is. Jessica Sowards, if you're there. Yep, and it's got the little thing, my mom. So this will be a local sale. I get it. one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, two dollar, two dollar, two dollar. Okay, who give me three? Who give me three? Three, three, three. Nobody. Y'all didn't know this was an auction video. It's going over here. So these are all items. I'm just going to show you real quick because we're probably not going to price them right now. Yep. These are items that came unboxed already. About twenty bucks. Um, this here is a uh, leather car back organizer. So it's one of those ones you hang on the back Ooh. of the, the front seat of the car and it organizes. Um, it'll probably be worth some money. It's just not gonna be a high, high dollar item. This is a, uh, I don't know. It says exercise equipment of some sort, uh, but I'm not exactly sure what exercise it is. Exercise equipment usually sells pretty good. Um, all the, a lot of the exercise stuff, weights, um, dumbbells, a little stuff like that. It sells. It's fitness area. That's a lot of big, big selling item. That will sell. People want that kind of stuff. Medical equipment sells. Electronic sales. Uh, probably the slower moving item. It can all be item. yours if the price is right. Yeah. And uh, that's used. That's weird. Well, the outside, you know, the inside hasn't been. It's like one of those baby changing stations right there. And uh, so I don't know. Price is right. One of you may want this in your bathroom. Am I to remodel them? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I think we probably gear that more towards the local businesses who may want one for their business. We may hold it for when we uh, get a uh, storefront one day. That's a good idea. I bought a box. I don't know what it is. Um. Oh, it's a signal lights for a vehicle, a Ooh, specific what is this? vehicle. I don't know which kind of vehicle, but I will find out at a later date. We've got a traveling water sprinkler. I think I'm slurring. <laughs> <laughs> got a little water sprinkler thing that looks like a tractor. I hadn't seen one of those before. And uh, so that's kind of cool. I know one of those small box pallets we got in, I don't know like 30 of those little hand sprayers. Later, John Jarrah, man, it's good to see you, buddy. Not really see you, you know? <laughs> It'd be kind of weird. It would be kind of weird if we could see y'all as y'all could see us, uh, you know? I'm not sure I'd want to watch all that. But we're gonna look at this because uh, I'm interested to see uh, what type of thing this is worth. And, uh, It looks like it's a Waytex water sprinkler traveling. 70 bucks new on Amazon. So I don't know. It's light. So if we can get 50 bucks, 40 bucks, if, even if it's used. Oh, Stuff gotcha. like this, we usually use it in the, for the business. These are just cups. Um, they've even got lids for coffee cups. 
Ooh. Um, I mean. That's cool. I mean, it's nice for, you know, disposable wear. I like that. I usually like my, my little. Got a uh, uh, IP cloud thing, my bob. I'm just taking all this stuff you're bringing over here. Do you want to go through that? And I'll bring some. No, go for it. Go for it. Anyways, we've gotten several camera kits, uh, like security cameras. Everyone has sold. I think the top one we sold was, uh, I think, three fifty uh, for it. And uh, but I haven't seen this brown brand before. It looks unbranded, uh, but. Uh, I'm bet betting it'll probably fetch at least a hundred bucks, and uh, so we'll see. This is a, a tabletop ga gl gl <laughs> gas grill. Grass grill. It's a grass grill, and uh, IP cam. Let's see what this is. Well, I'm thinking about it. I'm going to think we're almost at a thousand subscribers. And the crazy thing is, is we have only uh, done, um, I think, three videos in the last five months. So phone, we just want to say thank you very much for all of you out there who have uh, subscribed and uh, are patient with us as we have been working through this last year. I think we're going to do a video um, probably here this next week, like top five or top three lessons that we learned this year in uh reselling uh and stuff i think would be useful for a lot of people just because uh it's been a busy year you know it's been very overwhelming at times uh it's been you know very exciting at times very encouraging then it'd be like weeks of discouragement and uh so but i think we're gonna do a video on that and yeah this is these are selling for i can't find it but uh i know it's gonna be at least a hundred bucks they're infrared night vision so it's gonna be pretty good money tabletop just, gas grill i just looked up this here tabletop gas grill uh right here and when i open it up i can see inside it is completely unopened and untouched the, the tape is even intact here at the bottom so this is actually a new inbox um and it's selling for 99 on amazon so this is something that we can just tape back up and we would list it as new other which means that it's new but the box has been opened um by somebody other than the manufacturer um and that's good money right there yeah oh i almost dropped it oh my gosh <laughs> it was almost damaged <laughs> <laughs> i did that with some as a um a floodlight an amon floodlight or something it's like a hundred and twenty dollar floodlight and uh Yours truly was walking and tripped, and guess what happened to the stupid box? It fell and jingle, jingle, jingle. It sucked. I was so mad. One, a couple cool things we got on one of the pallets. I wish I'd have done a video of it, but we got uh, four brand new uh, unopened boxes of. Ooh, those suck. Um, so shoe ranks. Tabletop tanning kits is what we got. Not this one, but before. And uh, we had four of them that we sold all four of them for about 300 bucks within two days of being listed. And uh, that was good. It was like a week and a half before Christmas, so that was awesome. This is one of those little shoe racks. Uh, I know why they return these things, because they suck. <laughs> um, I know Jason, uh, the thrift, the thrift, uh, um, the thrift trader, he has a lot of these shoe racks because he sells a lot of shoes, but I don't like them. I try to put some together and they suck. I don't like them. So I see why people return them. This is a uh, pet carrier. It looks to be in new condition. I don't see any. I'd have to look a little closer. With pet stuff, you got to be really careful. Um, make sure you're not seeing any hair or anything like that. So I'd probably look a little closer, but it looks to be new. And pet supplies sell pretty well. Um, so this will be a little bit of money in the bank here. I guess I should open up this other stuff before I start getting new stuff. Hey, I don't you can know. do what you want. But I guess on the shoe things, if you buy some nice quality ones, they probably won't be as hard to put together. But some of those, they just suck. Like, I didn't even want to because they suck so bad. And uh, I'm not sure what this is. 
Uh, looks like a uh, projector screen. Um, looks to be the package. Uh, it's still taped up on the inside. So uh, that will probably be bring, uh, it's not electric. Electric ones bring more money, obviously, but that's probably 30 or 40 bucks right there. Oh, and I will say, if you start doing pallets like this and you start opening boxes, be really careful on how you open your boxes. Um, I can't tell you how many items that Joe and I have found where we, we opened the box and it was ripped just from a box cutter. Somebody had just opened it, didn't think about the fact that there was product right underneath the box. Yeah, we got a real nice $100 Big Joe beanbag chair that old jokers, when they opened it, got it with their little knife or... Here's another skateboard. Another skate oh, it's a long board. Yeah. That's kind of like the one that I had sold. So, uh, those are pretty popular. Lauren's interested in the grill. Let also, us know. we got a little small tabletop uh, uh, charcoal grill one too, somewhere it hadn't been used. And I think, Lauren, y'all still have that, uh, um, that $25 gift card that y'all won. Uh, we sell on eBay. Um, oh yeah, you got that store credit, I forgot yeah. that. But we sell, somebody asked if we sell on Amazon. We don't, I mean, we've got an Amazon account. It is something on our agenda at some point this year to sell on Amazon, but most, most of our stuff, I mean, we've had our eBay store for four years. We've got, um, I don't know, seven or 800 follower people on, on eBay. It's a top rated seller. We just sell all on there just because of ease of simplicity right now. Uh, but at some point in time, we are going to look at uh, doing some Amazon stuff. But this probably isn't the stuff that you're going to want to do with Amazon because a lot of it, the boxes are damaged. Uh, it's not brand new items. Uh, there are some brand new stuff that we have got in that would be um, on the small box pallets that you probably could sell on Amazon. But this stuff is a lot of it's going to be eBay or local local stuff. All right, I will, Amanda, I'm gonna look at this. Uh, this is, I don't know if you can see, I'll kind of show you. I don't wanna take it out of the box because it's all in a bunch of pieces. You can see that. But it's like a little kid's uh, Baby tricycle, tricycle uh, stroller type thing. It's a three in one. We've got one for our little Lucy Jude, our middle child, and she loves the thing. Well, Lucas does too. Excellent. And uh, Lucas does too. These are LED tube lights, babe. How much do those sell for? LED tube lights are usually pretty good. That would probably be about 50 bucks. As long as they're all working. If they're, sometimes uh, we actually got a whole bunch of really, really long LED tubes and they were worth a lot of money. The problem is, is that something happened, I think, in the either the wiring or the they bolts got or whatever. Um, they got damaged somehow. Um, and half of the, 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 it's a long tube and half of it lights and the other half doesn't light. So we used it to light our, our, like all of this light, all of these lights here, these are all the broken LED lights that we just made use out of them because we weren't going to be able to sell them. But I don't know how much they're actually worth. He says they sell pretty good. They so. do. It's looking like this uh, little umbrella stroller type thing is going to sell about 100 and 150 bucks. Couldn't find the exact model, but those lights are there. As you can see, the little strands. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. You can't see that. Somewhere up there. But... <laughs> Have you seen Jesus? Yeah. Have you seen Jesus? There's one over here. There's his head. We did not decapitate him. Yeah. He has... Somebody returned Jesus. You know, I think James Wagner, he made a little joke. I thought it was funny, so I'm going to steal it. It's like Jesus did say he was going to make his return, but he didn't say an Amazon return. So we didn't sell him because we didn't want to answer for that when we meet, like when he, when, you know, when we have to answer for everything and he'll be like, why'd you sell me for twelve ninety nine ninety five per yeah. shipping? And then, uh, you know, I, know. I heard another joke is kind of, don't you do it. I won't do it. Don't you do it. Okay. <laughs> I got shot down. I, uh, all these boxes now are really heavy. So it's Joe's. Well, I want to see this. You want uh, me to take him over there to you? Take yeah. them to you? Nope, you guys gotta stay here. Man. I didn't want to look at this box here. That looks like a tire. Is it a tire? What Mom is it? Looks like a tire. I'm gonna tell you, you said that. You said that She's online. She's probably gonna watch it. <laughs> you don't look like a tire, Joanne. You're not looking like a tire. You're beautiful. You're amazing. 
It's a uh, radiator for a car. Yes, thank you, Whitney. Whitney's on break watching this on YouTube. What did, what did Whitney say? Uh, my red shirt makes it look brighter. He's the light. <laughs> yes. But this is a... I have never known what a car radiator looks like. It's a radiator. Interesting. But uh, this one looks to be brand new and unused, so... That's interesting. Yay. And uh, I want to see what this is. Uh... I'll look it up if you want to go grab another box. Yeah, do it. We don't have a lot left of this pallet. I'll set this over here. I'll kind of take you over there. Woo! Joseph? Did I do that? Yeah. I knew that was a bad spot. <laughs> she even said it was a bad idea. Anyways, that's what I just knocked over right there. This is what we got left on this pallet right here. And this is one of those uh, little medical chairs. A bedside commode. Um, doesn't look to be used. So we're good there. Y'all just got a full, full on view of my nostril. I hope I ain't got any boogers up there. <laughs> and, uh, uh. I don't even know what some of this is. Is an igloo, baby? A little thing right there. This is the part of the uh, the medium box pallets that I just get tired of doing. I got tired of doing them. I'm trying not to freak out. Why? Well, because I can't find the exact model number, but the only two that I can find, one is 735 and one's 833. No way. Yeah, I can't. That's why I'm trying not to freak out because I'm like, surely that's not what we have. Oh, that's. Maybe that's the one we got. Wait. So I'm saying, and then there's this one here. See, so that one's smaller. Right. I'm trying not well, to freak it's out. MRAD 350Z. All right, I'm gonna write that down. Hold on. M Just do Google search. 350Z. 350Z. You got OZ. Anyways, those pallet, the rest of it over there. I mean, there's like, there's some good stuff on there. It's like a uh, dog uh, kennel this one right here. Is 273. All right, so 273 on the radiator, Oops. which is still very, I very good that. score. Yeah. Because uh, she was looking at some there like $800, and which like, would have been not, but I amazing. Have... But this right here, it looks like uh, something. Shelf. Yeah. No. And then a, uh, a dog, a very large dog crate, but that part's damaged. So that will probably be a local item. And this is uh, a jumbo table. Whoop. Whoa. It's like this a, is a jumbo tabletop for a puzzle. Like a, oh. those little flat puzzle. We need to look at that. Tabletop. Put that down and I'll um, right. put them down. Put, put, our, put, put you our down. people down. Put you down safely. We got one of these. Um, this is one of those little tabletop puzzle boards. It's got a felt top, but it's on like a little uh, Lazy Susan type thing to where it will spin around. And uh, But the one we got, it was like $120 brand new, but ours had been broken. So I just wanna see about this one, cause I'm interested to see what kind of condition, because if it's good, then that's some good money. And uh, it's looking like it's got a little ding on the corner. It sucks. We also got a whiteboard. Yeah. It's a problem with, I'm not going to say any names, but FedEx, Postal Service, UPS. See the little dent right there? I'm not going to say any names. I didn't know what you are talking about. It's dead, and uh, it'll probably still bring some good money, but maybe 50, 60 bucks. But some of those boxes, like if you ship stuff and this stuff like this, you got to reinforce those corners um, because they, the, I mean, if you've ever watched FedEx deliver stuff, I'm sure there's several UP, or, uh, YouTube videos of uh, 
watching postal people just throw stuff around because they do, which sucks, but it's still a good, a good little find. It's these, still money. These are monkey bars. Ooh. Just a part of it though, not the whole Ooh. thing. It's like the bars that go across for them to swing on. And then this is a dining table top glass. Pack one of three. There's only one portion of it. The other two pieces yeah. are missing. Sometimes we get uh, various boxes of stuff and yeah. it'll be like three sets of stuff that they ship, they ship, but we only get like one part, so. Yeah, but this is a tabletop glass and glass is not cheap. So uh, I'm gonna grab my little phone and just see. Oh, thank you. We are a uh, Conway dot resale. Uh, we'll probably put a link in the video, probably easier to our eBay page. And uh, I can do that real quick. You can also go to www.conwayresale.com. Yeah, and I'll take you to our eBay and page. And it'll take you to our eBay Not page. Not directly to it. There are multiple ways to get there. You can hit the shop uh, button at the top or on the home page. there's even a, a link there. It should be really easy to find. I feel like you guys can't, like, I feel like I'm not tall enough. It's fine. You can just see me down here. Oh, 360 throwback. You just started a YouTube channel. You just subscribed yesterday. And uh, so I know she's uh, um, just starting a YouTube channel, reseller. So if you're wanting to watch other resellers out there, she is one. And uh, I'm going to see what this little one is worth. At least what kind of table it was. Sometimes I like to look at the broken stuff and, uh, you know, get sad for a, man a minute. Uh, about uh, the what ifs, the what ifs. Remember the first video, if you haven't watched it, we did three little unboxing videos. The first video we did, the last box we came to, there's a car making noise outside, it's scary. What? <laughs> so we're getting ready to die. There's like a missile coming in. I'm just <laughs> making up stuff now. <laughs> but anyways, back on the story, this... Uh, I'm sorry, it's heavy. <laughs> Let me get down here in case she falls down a little bit. You're moving again. Sorry. It's like we're... Uh, uh, Whitney, you're outside watching. It's a truck. <laughs> Thanks, Whitney. <laughs> Thank you, Whitney. You're looking out. <laughs> it's my NORAD right there. Whitney Whitney keeps the whole place running sometimes. Yeah. We can't find anything. Whitney yeah. knows where everything is. I'm like, Whitney, what did I do with my phone? She's and like, it's she's over like, there. You left it over there <laughs> when you were talking to me and you just walked off in the middle of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but we anyways, appreciate you Whitney <laughs> we rabbit trailed anyways the last box we came to it was a farmhouse sink porcelain sink and I don't know what brand it was but I looked it up before I opened the box no I, maybe I didn't no you did. I looked up the price I think so anyways you can watch the video to find out but it's a thousand dollar farmhouse sink but it was in like 400 pieces it was so sad. Yeah. We were really sad about it. Yeah, it sucked. It sucked. I don't know if y'all want to see all the other stuff we got. We got so much stuff everywhere. Yeah. We'll do a tour. Uh, I don't know if y'all want a tour right now. I would say we can wait to do a tour. It's at the end of the video. Um, you know, some people are like, well, I can't do a tour until we're all nice and neat. But then, like, then people are put on a facade uh, about, you know, how things are. I'm too close. Anyways, I don't know, this tabletop glass, it's just the glass, it's a we'll huge you. rectangle. You know, it probably not gonna be much because you can get tables from Global Furniture, like the whole table with the glass for like a hundred and something bucks. So I don't know, we'll probably Facebook Marketplace this sucker and uh, do that. I can't turn the camera around when I'm recording, can I? I don't know. Let's see. Yes, we can. Here you go. I'll follow you. Oh, uh, where are we going? I don't know. I thought you said you were going to do a tour. Yeah, but I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Through the camera. I don't know. It's just weird. Okay, here. You Anyways. can have it. Yeah. I don't know if that really watched makes a difference. What's up, M4 Woman Gamer? Thank you for watching from Florida. Do I want to do this way? No, we can do this way. You can record me. I don't know. Cool little find. Is this? Uh, That's a fun story. Yeah, we're not supposed to get clothes uh, on these pallets that we get. We don't get books. We don't get food. But sometimes we get food, uh, but we eat it all. We ate a <laughs> whole case of hot fries. 
I, I ate a whole case of hot fries. In like two weeks, we ate the whole. <laughs> they were so pack. good, so Very processed, good. but so good. Yeah. Anyways, this uh, Kohan uh, jacket, it was in a box of hangers, um, and we opened it up when we undid the pallet, and it was just a box of hangers. So we're like, and eh, this is junk. But then when I went back through it, I brought out this jacket, brand new with tags. It was a little wrinkly. So we had it pressed, steamed. I think, I don't know if they pressed it. I think they just steamed it. Anyways, we got listed, hoping to get about 200 bucks for it and uh, waiting for that right buyer. And uh, I don't know if some of you haven't seen our little thing before. These are all of our cell phones. We used to be primarily, for those of you who don't know, a, a cell phone business. Yeah. We used to be, formerly we were cellular resale, then we were consumer tech. Um, so, you know, a majority of, of our cell phones, uh, you know, of, of our products are actually cell phones, motors, Radoms, tablets. And these aren't like top of the line cell phones. These are like two, three, four, five years old. Cracked phones, flip phones, slider phones. We found a niche. But one of the lessons that we will talk about in the uh, lessons learned video of 2018 is uh, it's best to diversify what you have available. Uh, to allow for uh, a steady sales pattern throughout the year because each niche that's the right yeah i said it right mm -hmm. has varying sales patterns yes whereas uh like used clothing they don't typically do very well around christmas time because people aren't buying used clothes for christmas they're buying electronics gift cards brand new clothes and some other stuff so it's best to di diversify what what you sell so these are cell phones we've got some modems and routers which we don't have a lot anymore we are going to buy some more and uh this that's what this is we used to have so many phones that all this was full and then all these are box phones these are new phones that we have in boxes and uh, we used to have a lot more but we kind of uh, stopped buying phones for a little while to allow us time to get these pallets uh in order because we moved into the new business here and honestly, we didn't have a lot of money. We, we just spent money moving, getting the truck loaded. We didn't have a lot of money to buy a lot of cell phones. So, but now we're kind of buying more cell phones. So all these items right here, these are some little blue bins that we got for like 25 cents each that our inventory system kind of we use. These are items you're going to find in small box. These yeah. are the ones that we were talking about that we prefer. Um, and, and they're small box because they're going to fit in an Amazon small box item. So, yeah. I mean, it, we have a variety of things here. Um, the only thing, the reason they're, the only way that they're listed is just by when we pull them out. They're not listed. Uh, they're in, the inventory isn't sorted by, you know, type of item or anything. But you'll find yeah. dog, uh, animal, pet that supplies. Like a home security camera. Yeah. We got like a back brace. Yeah. Um, dog stuff. We get a lot you'll of find dog, phone cases. dog vests, bicycling things. Yeah all kinds of stuff probably the most expensive items that we've gotten out of here we got like a cowhide rug um it, we're waiting for the right seller but we've, we're hoping to get about 150 bucks for it uh we've gotten several 200 dollar items we got mm -hmm. like a 150 dollar pair of virtual reality glasses or something you can i don't think they're virtual reality but they're glasses that you can smart see. glasses yeah smart glasses. you can see your text messages or some kind of stuff on the glasses but usually about two, three hundred dollar items. We've gotten several of those from the small box pallets. So you think, you know, for these pallets, I don't know. These pallets here, um, you can only buy these by the truckload. Uh, you used to be able to buy them um, individually or by the half truckload. But these, they only sell by the truckload because they are in such demand. Um, at some point, probably in two, three months, we will start having these pallets available for sale um, uh, that if you are interested in, in buying a whole pallet you know you have to arrange shipping but we've got some money uh, we're, we're kind of sandwiched between two shippers here where our warehouse is at so we can probably talk to them about shipping uh, but if you are interested in some of that you know you can pre-order some small box pallets but that's all all that kind of so kind of segue these are a lot of our medium box pallets you can see we've got two rows of shelves we've got stacks stuff stacked up high um so we got lots of lots of stuff we've got canopies we've got canopies galore even up here if you can see those are all canopies we've got more canopies over here um 
We're not going to sell those until probably the summertime. I have Sorry, sold, I'm spinning too much, guys. I sold a couple of them locally. Uh, we did sell a, a real big 10 by 20 foot canopy. I think uh, 200 bucks, and then they paid for shipping, so it was about a $300 transaction. Um, and that's what I learned to do with a lot of these big box items. Anything really over 20 pounds uh, and, and bulky, uh, buyer pays shipping now because of Zone 5, you know, out in California. Uh, Arizona, Washington, shipping from here in Arkansas is ridiculously expensive. And uh, so we've started doing buyer pays shipping. So we got all that stuff there, and uh, we still got two pallets that we'll, we'll do those last two unboxing videos of those. Uh, probably, what is today, Thursday? Probably next week. Uh, we may do one next week and one the, the week after. If not, then uh, we'll do both next week. But we'll see. And uh, I think that's all good. If y'all have any questions, just put that in uh, the comment section. And uh, we'll do a quick question answering video. And uh, check out our website. Uh, we got a Facebook group. We're not real active there right now. Uh, but it's somewhere you can find it. I think that's it. Adios, peoples. Appreciate y'all watching and Happy New Year again to y'all.